Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel from Qatar Studios. Today we're going to learn how to create a mark queue in a website or otherwise called a ticker. Okay, so we're going to learn how to create this. I'll show you how to add the SVG icon, where to get all of this and let's get right into it. Today's video is brought to you by Breakdance, the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It's easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with lots of features, including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capability, a versatile pop-up builder, and a seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you're just starting up your WordPress journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build a better website with breakdance try it today and experience the breakdance difference so to do this all we need to do is to get into the dashboard from uh, wordpress click on plugin and add new plugin the tool we'll be needing is called qi add-on so click type that qi you will see the file from here this one specifically is the one we are going to be actually working with so once you install it, you can find it in the plugin section. But by the way, we are going to actually see the option by clicking the QI add-on for Elementor from here. Then here are the widgets. You see all available widgets from here. You see the pro version and the free version, like the ones that are with a key sign shows that this is a professional version. You need a license to assess those features. So you can possibly search for MacQ. And you're going to see the MacQ text from here and we see the MacQ image but this is on a pro version so we're going to be learning this make sure this is enabled once enabled get into your wordpress uh, uh elemental website let's scroll down to the footer where i want to add this i want to add this usually before the footer but most cases like this i added it in the footer so that it will show in any webs any part of the page website page uh, user visit but if we are adding it in the home page the need it will only show in the home page so bear that in mind when creating that so one thing we need to do we have to add an, a full section then we click to search for mark you okay so this is the mark you text drag it right in here and we have the text like this next thing we need to do we want to expand this to start from the beginning to the end there are many more cases where we we'll use it i will be bringing some more tutorial in the future to show other instances where we use this in more subtle and different way so let's click on this. We want this to be full width. So we select on this option and make the percentage of this 100%. Okay. Very good. And now we made it 100 percent You see, see that there are a little more space around here and it is not actually popping from the edge of it. That's because the section itself, we have to remove all padding from here. So click to remove all padding and we have everything collapsed to the edge as we want it. Next thing, select on the elements. Bear in mind, the section selection and the element selection is two different things. Now we are selecting the element. We can see the options for that. But if we select the section, we will see the option to actually modify this text element and its uh, uh, functionality. Select on the text element, which is the mark you. Click on the styling. Here we want to select a color which you want. We want to select the dark green color, which is the brand style of color. And the text itself, I like to go with the font which we actually using for this purpose, poppins. And in the text area, we may need to add some information from here. Let's just add some information. For the best practice, I would suggest if you want to use a bolder element, you can use capital letter. But if you want to use smaller element, you can use small uh letter okay but it's all up to you you decide what you want to do okay let's just use a same word if you actually want this to loop too many times without having issues like let's wait a while you're gonna see something from here i want to show you something very quickly so without having issues like this, you see, yeah, we have an empty space here to cover up now, right now, just with a couple moments, you see. So without having such issue, if you don't want that issue at all, you have to actually add more loops, okay? Which means we created the first text, which is this one we are using here. We can duplicate it as many times as possible, okay? Just duplicate, duplicate. So the more you duplicate it, the better, okay? So that users, when they get to that section, they will not be able to see that empty space for until they scroll past that particular area. So that's what you're gonna do. Loop it as much time as you want. Or if you actually have different text in this area, you can create all the different text. You have to duplicate all of them separately so that they can actually match in double. It's all up to you. Now, when we are done with that, we can now add a separator. Separator is what we want. What icon do we want to separate this? Because there should be an icon that makes it, you know, look more different the text to separate itself to make them look different from the order so we're gonna add a circle from here 
we add a circle over here we insert it we go to styling and the icon size here is where we adjust the icon size okay so what, what in instance we want to use that star element we just saw from the bottle shop so what we need to do in that one click on this i'll be providing you this link to this icon section so you're gonna go over there download an svg icon so here we want to use a star you hit on enter whatever you want to use it depends on what you want so you can see as many stars as possible let's select on this we download as svg it has been downloaded get back to our website and we go back to content type then from here instead of clicking this element click on upload svg so from upload svg we can minimize our window and we get to where we downloaded the svg the svg is, should be in download so let's uh let's select a file go over to to downloads i think this is where we'll find the svg fine so we select and insert that and we got the svg now we need to change the color of the svg let's see if there are more other options from here so this option is the animation duration the speed of the animation you want if we increase this to 40 speed it becomes slow if we reduce it to 10 it becomes even faster you notice that so what you're going to do here is we can possibly increase it to 40 but you increase and decrease based on the amount of text you find there for instance in shop station we made it faster this is 30 over here but in bottle shop we made it uh, uh, uh 20 so it becomes this is starting but a uh, 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 shop station in uh, bottle shop we made it 40 or 50 over here to make it slower if the text are bigger or larger make it slower if it is smaller make it faster okay because there are more content people should read and they have more chances because more content we show when it is shrinked content are shrinked but less content we show when the content are large so bear that also in mind when you are creating your own macro so after that what we need to do next is the icon color whatever color we want to give the icon so we might just give the icon a separate color to separate it from the other one now the background itself we can select the background and we can decide to go with a particular brand color whatever brand color we want here you get but me i don't just want to leave it as white or milk just leave it as white okay so the icon itself we want to actually select on that again the icon size i want to increase it a little more we are good to go the space between the icon and the element we can expand that a little you notice that okay so that there will be a little more space here is in pixels we have to do it some percentage so it can be larger okay let's increase a little more three or two is perfect let's say three is okay this actually happened because of the issue the space we try to give now that's why we find this issue it's not going to be available when we are done so if you want to increase the space between the element top and bottom you can either select the element itself select on this option padding top we add a padding top padding bottom we add a padding bottom to space it out whatever space you want to give it if you select on this and add whatever color we want to add from here you will see that it applies to the element you can further select this the text itself we can change the color of the text to the milk and then leave the other color i think this works well so that it can be separate from the other background at the top or the other background by the bottom if you want to reduce text size you know what to do from here select on this and you modify the, the size of the text just as you want every other styling you can do from here so this is how to add macro if you want it to move to the right side just click on this button option from over here just click on this and it will move to the right side forget about this it will not show in the front end okay once you move it in the left you push this out to this other edge so that is it how to add mark you to your website make sure you make it responsive you go to the lower breakpoint you have to select the elements see the text now is very very bold we have to reduce the text so it can match the size of that particular breakpoint tablet and on mobile we have to even reduce it even further so it can match perfectly well further further this size makes sense for mobile and you can see that the icon itself we have to modify the icon too to match the text we actually apply you see now it's becoming slower now we are going on mobile okay it's still okay because mobile has more space so at the top and bottom padding for this particular section okay we selected on the element to do that top and bottom we clear that off we add the mobile version top and bottom and i think this is perfectly cool enough select on this let's um decrease the increase the speed by decreasing the amount of Okay, this is too much. Let's just keep it at 30 and that's okay. 
So on the higher breakpoint, we have it larger. On the lower breakpoint, we have it smaller. So this is how to actually create your MacQ tool. In our next lesson, we are going to be learning how to create the image MacQ tool. I'm going to show you the tricks which you have been missing. And we're going to show you how to create the image MacQ tool that will be moving up like a carousel on auto so that's just it for today's lesson i hope you guys enjoy if you have any question leave in the comment section below if you actually wanting to join our uh, business design group of practical web design free platform you will also be finding the link in the description below till we meet again do have a wonderful day